part in this lesson we're going to solve or learn to solve right triangles and we're going to learn this um, acronym SOHCAHTOA so let's first start with a uh, triangle and we're um, I can start with a circle this might be the last time I do a circle for just a little while so everything always starts with a circle and I can create a triangle right here by, by this particular radius and then if I drop a perpendicular right there, see I've created a triangle. So let's now take that triangle out of the circle. And we did this in the last lesson, and I'm going to uh, go with that a little bit. So in the last lesson, we called this theta. And then we said that this was the x-coordinate, this was the y-coordinate, and this was the radius. And so we learned that uh, we had trig ratios for cosine, sine, uh, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. So we did that in the last lesson. Um, so now we're going to change this up a little bit. Um, rather than call this x, um, we're going to call, the, actually let's start here. Rather than call this theta, we're going to call this alpha. That's alpha right there. And then we're going to call this angle up here beta. And actually you could change these around. It doesn't make any difference. This is a right angle, so we're just at this point going to call this a right angle. All right. So in uh, relation to the angle theta, rather than call this side x, we're going to call this the adjacent side in relation to alpha, because it's the one next to it. In relation to alpha, we're going to call this the opposite side, because it's opposite um, alpha. And then instead of calling this radius, we're going to call this the hypotenuse. And it's always the hypotenuse, no matter if we're going to talk about angle A, or angle beta there. Right, so let's just change some colors here a little bit. So let's make this one, oops, make this one beta in blue. Okay. So in relation to beta, angle beta, this side becomes the adjacent side because this is next to angle beta. In relation to beta, this side becomes the opposite because it's opposite beta. And the hypotenuse is always just the hypotenuse. So then we can say, pick a different color, we can say that the um, sine of alpha is going to be equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And you'll recall when this was theta, we said this was y over r. So there's a, a relationship there. But now we're saying, in, in we're calling this rather than theta, we're calling it alpha. All right, so likewise, I could say the sine of beta, well, that's the same formula. That's its opposite side over the same hypotenuse. In fact, if we look at this little acronym over here, SOHCAHTOA, this S comes from sine, the O comes from opposite, the H comes from hypotenuse. This is just a little acronym to help you remember these things. So let's move on to cosine. So the cosine of alpha, well that's, you remember that as x over r if this was theta. And so now it becomes the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Likewise, I could have the cosine of the other angle, beta, and its formula is the same, the adjacent side. Let's see how the adjacent side is a different side now over the hypotenuse. So that's where this part of the acronym co comes from. So this is cosine. This is adjacent, and the H is still hypotenuse. There's a little 
plus right in there. All right, let's do um, sine. I'm sorry, let's do tangent and cotangent, or just tangent. Uh, typically, when we talk about solving triangles, we're just trying to find. Uh, we're just going to use sine, cosine, and tangent, but not always. Sometimes we'll we'll use uh, some of the other other features too. So what where were we? Tangent here. So tangent. So the tangent of alpha, well that is sine over cosine. Remember that. Um, so that would be the sine of alpha over the cosine of alpha. And I can further simplify that because the sine was the opposite over the hypotenuse. And of course the cosine was the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So then the tangent of alpha becomes the opposite side over the adjacent side. Likewise, the tangent of beta is the same formula. The opposite, but this is the opposite to beta over the adjacent. So tangent, the T stands for tangent. O stands for opposite, and A stands for adjacent. Alright, so this is the end of this video explaining Sokotoa, and in the next video I'm going to show all the details of solving and how to solve a right triangle.